Yo, it's good. Welcome to part two. The most important video so far. I don't know about the next one. Just want to say real quick, end of the week up 6K. You go through this whole series. That's going to be you. Because this is probably going to be everything I know. So there's no reason why you can't be doing the same. Until there's 200 likes on this, I'm not posting again. You can see I caught up NQ Longs this morning. Just a quick scalp. Took 20 points. Ain't too bad at all on a Friday. Let's talk about trading psychology. Like I said, the most important thing that you will ever install into your brain. Yes, I have a winning strategy. Yes, I'm pretty consistent. And yes, I make a lot of money. But second that to everything because my experience in the market is by far the most important reason why I think I'm so consistent. I sacrificed a bunch of money into the market uh, to eventually get it back, obviously. But man, it got to the point where I literally could not lose anymore. I hit rock bottom. Like in high school, I actually burned my entire bank account. Some people may think they're more consistent than me. They make more money than me. They have a better strategy. They can read a chart better. But I think my experience trumps all of that. If you ask a lot of traders who also made it, I guarantee they say the same thing. Their experience trumps everything. A lot of people go through this entire endeavor, hit that rock bottom and then give up and walk away and it was hard but y'all know i quit for almost a year but if you really do this shit you know how much money you make in a short amount of time once i got a taste of how much you can make from your room i couldn't go back to my normal job and just fucking cool off and just say all right i failed there's three psychological ideologies that this breaks down into mental control discipline control and risk management the more you point out your problems and understand your personal growth and stick out the points where you think you're doing something wrong and you attack them is where you're going to grow as fast as you possibly can like i said experience in the market trumps everything you need to have the experience. This video is not going to change that for you. What it will change is your understanding of the growth you need to have. You swipe on your phone and see these traders making 10 plus thousand every day, taking who knows how many trades a day, telling you to follow their alerts. It's killing you. You guys know I have a Discord myself. We alert trades. We obviously trade together with you. I've always been very clear on it. No matter how far you've gotten into this, your personal conviction clears anybody else's. You may watch an ICT video. You may want to trade his way because, oh my gosh, he's the best trader of all time and he makes a bunch of money. You try to trade his way and it doesn't work out for you. But he makes so much money with it. Why doesn't it work for me? Everything is completely different. Your risk management, your experience, and your overall tolerance in the market is completely different than his my strategy of supply and demand is a very simple strategy and a lot of people use it but i have it tailored to my exact need because of how i like to trade i know trade control is the exact problem you have you freak out during your trades and you're not confident during your trades in the back of my head i have zero emotion when you have a strategy like i do and like you should as well when i take a trade i know all of my exit points and i know my actual stop loss point a big problem with what you do is you don't have those exact levels you don't know where you're going to fully exit you're walking into almost a mystery which I get may help your thrill of trading. You might freak out more, but it is going to destroy you. It's going to get you scaling out too early, missing out on profits, and it's going to get you exiting too late because you're solely living on hope compared to actual reality. When I took this trade this morning, I see a fucking banger, obviously, but you see my long position tool set up. My exits are fully established. Before I even got into the trade, I knew exactly where I was going to potentially hit my max take profit and exit the trade. You can see this was a perfect trade, zero drawdown. This is usually how Steph does it. What do I have to be freaked out about? I got into a trade off of my strategy, something that I'm very confident in, and I know exactly where I'm going to exit in both sides. At this point, I'm just kicking back. If I lose this trade, what do I have to be ashamed of? I'm using my strategy, I'm playing with the trend, and I'm checking every box that I have in the back of my mind that I need to make sure that is confident before I get into a trade. What is there to be worried about? You're going to lose regardless. You can be the best trade in the world, you're gonna lose. Your anxiety during trades points out your problem. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Tell me. What can we do to prevent that? Obviously do everything I just said, but here's another thing you could possibly do. When you're getting into a trade, just like I did this morning, you have your exits fully set up already. You know exactly where you're going to enter an exit. At this point, I would set up my levels and have my stop loss order and my take profit orders in and back the fuck up. Go do something else. You don't have to stare at the chart. You're going to freak out. Set your trade up. Again, every box is checked. I'm very confident in this step away from the computer. You have your orders already set up so you're not gonna get into crazy problems and let it cook for you. I even do this sometimes. The problem is your thrill of this. You love the thrill. And I know it's great. You make money obviously too, which doesn't help. But the more professionally you treat this, the more calm you are, the better this is going to be for your mental health. You're gonna have these great days where you win all the time and you fucking go out and you celebrate and you're so happy all day. And then you have losing days and you hate your life. It's totally natural. It's part of the process. You just need to make sure you're obviously winning more than losing. So to control our mental, it is solely up to you. No one knows exactly what you're doing, bro. You need to take initiative and have the discipline to be able to tell yourself what you're doing wrong. This isn't a fucking fairy tale. Get a notebook. This was five bucks on Amazon. Write down your problems. Every day I write stuff down. Why am I unprofitable? What am I doing wrong? Why do I not have enough discipline? You're going to premeditate your trades entirely. Before you get into them, you're going to set up your levels and set up your entry and exit. You will have no more anxiety. You will be cold stone hearted. Just be like your ex-girlfriend, dude. You have every tangible to be profitable. Hold yourself accountable of this shit and you will grow.
Now we attack discipline, something that everyone that lacks experience has a problem with. And I'm not here to shit on you about all these things. Everyone has these problems. I'm here to put you ahead of everybody else. You know how hard it was initially for me to control myself? You don't have someone telling you what to do and not to do. And a lot of people are too immature to have that accountability of themselves. And it, that's okay. I had the problem myself. The longer you do this, you have to be your own boss. You have to understand what's at stake if you don't do this shit correctly. Revenge trading. Everybody's done it. Ah! You're having a great day. You take a loss and you try to get it back and you lose the rest of that shit. That shit hurts. I'm about to get you to never revenge trade again. First off, daily profit goals. Treat your money like a funded account. You need to have a daily profit goal every single day that if you're even close to, you need to stop fucking trading. The goal is to not make $10,000 every day. Initially, we want to catch smaller, consistent Ws. If you're taking more than three trades a day, get the fuck out of here. You need to be focusing on quality. Like I said, quality over quantity is the entire game. It's already so hard to be profitable with this shit. You try to win again, and then you try to win again. Of course, you're going to have days where you lose. If you can just make two to 500 a day, that's upwards of $3,000 a month. 200 bucks a day is fucking cake, no matter the account you got. Stop trying to make fucking 5K a day. You're going to lose. Lastly, something that you definitely can do is put the money in front of you. When you actually have cash at your desk, go ahead and try and get me to take another trade. At a point in the day, look at the P&L that you're up on. Now, if you're up over 500 bucks, you should probably be able to hold 500 bucks in your hand. Are you not content with that? If you can't put 500 bucks in your hand, you better be content with that. We get stuck in this digital number that it doesn't even make sense to us. This is real liquid money. 300 bucks could feed me for a month. I just made that shit in five minutes on NQ. Hell yeah. We get so lost in the concept of money because of how much you consume on the internet. 300 bucks a day is fucking lit. If you have a strategy, why are you taking trades that are not based off your strategy? That doesn't even make any sense. I can't, bro. I can't with this. At a point, you're going to develop a very strong strategy. Only take trades based off of it. And that's the biggest problem right there. No trading days. I didn't take trades on Monday and Tuesday. I sat at my desk and just watched this shit. Some of you guys are forced into taking trades every day. You have this freaking eagerness to take trades play the role of a professional and see what happens to yourself straight fake it till you make it just act like one why did i not take a trade that day because nothing set up within my strategy i used to go to a bunch of trading conventions when i was like 17 and there was this one girl that went out of her way to go talk to me because she recognized that i was young businesswoman like suit and tie all that i told her that i had 100 percent play the other day and she fucking blew up on me she said something to me that i've carried on with my entire career since greed will kill you straight up people would kill for my job just off the fact of the free time obviously my own control not even the money. In this market, regardless of how well it's been so far this month, you have to be aggressive and take your profits away from it. I met multiple options traders that built up their portfolios to millions plus, got out of the market and started doing real estate and just sit back and collecting checks for a living. No matter how much you know, this is not a game. I have bills to pay and I have family members that I need to take care of. I don't have the opportunity to be gambling with this shit anymore. And ironically, I stopped doing that and now all the successes came to me. No matter how you trade, no matter what you do, you need to be established in the risk management department. What really is risk management? Everything derives from managing your money correctly. From a trading aspect, is the money I'm putting into the market managed correctly? What am I risking compared to what am I collecting? Back to the trade I took this morning. If you hover over this tool, my risk to reward is 4.0. I think I have an average of over four risk to reward for every trade I take. Four times. Every dollar I'm potentially risking, I'm potentially making four times that. It's all about calculated risk. The premeditation process of this controls everything. I place this tool before I get into the trade. At this point, I can see, okay, my potential max profit is 14 points. My max loss is three points. If you go to one of these calculators before your trade, you can see I'm potentially making 1200 and I'm risking 240 bucks. Does that sound fucking cool? Sounds pretty cool to me. It's the premeditation. I can see this before I get into the trade and where is my confidence now? It's through the roof because okay, I'm willing to risk this. I'm managing my risk correctly because I'm taking an evaluated risk. I understand before I get into the trade that this is what I'm going to lose slash win. What do I have to be worried about? And what do you know? I did that shit again, bro. So what am I walking away with this with? First off, you're fucking subscribing. Takeaways, this is what you're going to do from now on. Buy a notebook, write down your problems. Before every trade, Trade, you're going to have a checked box system check every box to see if it matches what you agree with if it checks your boxes you should have no anxiety getting into the trade if you struggle with anxiety during your trades you're going to set up your order levels you're going to get into a trade before and you're going to back the hell up from your computer and you're going to go do something else and let it happen for you we're going to start to use future calculators to understand our evaluated risk we're going to put physical money in front of us to touch and feel after we fucking win i'm telling you you stop over trade real fast and lastly you're going to start to hold yourself accountable there is no boss you need to be the boss act like a professional hold yourself accountable you know exactly where you belong and it's not in the position you're currently in i seriously care about you and i want you to succeed especially if you're going out the way to watch me 200 likes for the next part you're gonna fucking love it please